Well, nobody saw this coming. How are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, give it a thumbs up. Let's get it over 500 likes. Looks like we have the new character for Super Smash Brothers is supposedly been leaked. Now, this is coming courtesy of 4chan. They've been spot on before. They've been spot off before now the reason why I say we have to pay some attention to this is it's Evo week things are heating up and where there's smoke there is fire so many are saying we're gonna get a character reveal at Evo who's gonna be the next fighter and this leak also tells us more information on when we're gonna get Banjo Kazooie I'm gonna get to that but the leaked fighter, according to this rumor, is Frisk. Let's get Frisky. I had to look this dude up. Frisk from Undertale. Because I've never played Undertale. But this is supposed to be the next fighter in Smash. That's right. The dude that's still dabbing in 2019. Now, this is why I, me I immediately didn't say... Ain't no way in the world they'll put this dude in the game. Come on, bro. We got Mr. Game & Watch, bro. We got Wii Fit Trainer, bro. If they put Game & Watch and Wii Fit Trainer in the game, Frisk can happen. And so, according to this leak, the next fighter will be Frisk and should be announced soon, possibly during EVO now. <coughs> According to this leak, and this is also coming from comicbook.com, Banjo and Kazooie who, will release sometime in early to mid-September. So in a, within a month, as early as a month, we could get Banjo and Kazooie according to this leak. They're saying as the characters are 80% done. Further... The user claims that Hero was actually actually has been complete since June, but wasn't released until July due to Nintendo working on balancing. Everybody that's been using him, that's been mastering him, saying that he's like OP. He got like 50 million moves. Come on, bro. Um, that said, after Banjo and Kazooie arrives, the leak alleges that Frisk will be next. Um, and when the Undertale character will arrive isn't developed. So they don't know when it's going to happen. But according to this leak, the next dude is the guy from Undertale. All right. What do you guys think about that? But the next news item, we're going to go from the most epic, one of the most epic games ever, Super Smash Brothers, to one of the most weirdest games ever announced for the Switch. Bro, I kid you not. PC Building Simulator has been announced for the Nintendo Switch. <laughs> when I read this game, I said to myself, why do I want to buy a game to do work? Virus scanning? Oh, so exciting. What I've always wanted in a video game. And so you're building the PC of your dreams, installing hardware. Bro, I hate my PC. I mean, I knew I need it. It's essential for me to record this video and stream and do all that stuff. But every other day, there's a random update. It crashes. It does crazy things. Like my voice starts echoing out of nothing. I didn't push any buttons. I tell you. And now, you want me to buy a game to have to deal with the PC? Come on, bro. So PC Simulator. It's out now on different other platforms, but it's coming to... The Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Why? Why? I just got one question. Why? Alright, next news item. Bro. 
Joy-Con boys, where you at, bro? It looks like we're about to get the new Joy-Cons sooner than you think. There's a new rumor out that's saying the neon purple and the neon orange Joy-Cons, aka the ugliest Joy-Cons you'll ever see in your life, are heading to Europe on October 4th. So if they're coming on October 4th, this is what they look like, by the way. Ugly. Ugly. If they're coming to um, Europe October 4th, that means it's probably going to be a global release. Um, I got this, source, this article from... Let me get the source. <coughs> that was via GoNintendo.com, via Nintendo, everything. All right. And so purple and orange Joy-Cons should be coming um, at the beginning of October makes a little bit of sense before Luigi's Mansion for some reason I get a Halloween vibe why the purple and orange I figured it out look at this then look at this oh purple orange orange face Purple stripes. The clue's been under our nose all this time, bro. All right, next news item. Let me stop tripping. All right. Bro, you thought Sony, Xbox, and Nintendo would be your only console choices next generation? Well, the console market is getting more and more crowded by the day. We already have Google Stadia. Amazon rumored, even Walmart's rumored to have a game streaming service, but Neo Geo, if you're a fan of King of Fighters, this might put a spot on your face. Neo Geo is teasing that they're coming out with a new modern console that is soon to be revealed. Personally, I've never played Neo Geo games growing up as a kid. I always skipped them. I was... Sega Genesis Super Nintendo kid. NES Sega Genesis Super Nintendo. That was my 80s and 90s. But um they've I don't think not once we've had more than 3 consoles be successful at one time. There was one period when we had the Dreamcast, the GameCube, PlayStation and the Xbox almost around the same time and the Dreamcast died, bro. Sega died. You can Three is the maximum you're going to have for successful console gaming. That's why next generation with um, streaming services coming around. So, well, well, Xbox is straight because Xbox is going to survive one way or the other. They got xCloud and <laughs> they're doing Sony streaming for them, bro. Sony signed a deal with microsoft so that's crazy next generation is going to be interesting but neo geo is coming out with a um um console next generation and last but not least we don't hardly ever talk about call of duty on this channel bro but i actually like call of duty 4 on my xbox call of duty modern warfare has um revealed more multiplayer modes coming to the game there's going to be a close quarters 2v2, which, uh, I don't know how exciting that sounds. 10v10 which the, and, and 20 versus 20 firefights, which I think they've had before. But the big thing is an epic large-scale mode supporting 100 players or around or more than 100 players. Uh, somebody had given me a link. One of the sponsors, uh, Broken, um, he gave me the a link of 50 versus 50. Which that should be pretty lit. Um, pretty lit. That's similar to uh, Fortnite. How Fortnite has Team Rumble, so some uh, a large scale war type mode um, coming to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I'm gonna pick it up on my Xbox. Okay. All right, dudes. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I wanna know. But before you go, bruh, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. Oh, thanks, then. Ten dope, we out, boy. Oy, 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 oy.
What's this skeleton dude from Undertale name? Is he gonna be an assist trophy? <laughs>